What's up guys? My name is Connor King with Resolute Capital. So Vanguard is one of the largest investment brokers in the world, and it has nearly five trillion in assets under management. The founder, John Bogle, was also the pioneer of the index fund. I'm a huge fan of Vanguard, and in this video, I'll discuss whether S&P 500 index fund is the best investment you can make in the stock market. Let's get into it. Please like this video if you're excited about it, and subscribe to our channel where we post two videos every week. Also, this video is for entertainment purposes only, and you should always consult with a professional financial advisor before making any decisions with your money. All right, so we're gonna be talking about the Vanguard Index Fund that John Bogle, the founder of Vanguard, created in 1976, as it was the very first index fund. And this fund's ticker symbol is VFIAX, and it used to be also VFINX, but they have since closed that fund to new investors because it had higher expenses. And so now they're just directing everyone to VFIAX and just making that their primary one. And they've lowered the minimum investment on it as well. This S&P 500 index fund has an expense ratio of 0.04 and you really just can't get any lower than that. And also it has a minimum investment of $3,000 to get started in it. However, if you don't have $3,000, you can invest into this same fund's ETF for the minimum price of what the share is, and it's around $200. And then once you have over $3,000 in this ETF, you can convert it to this index fund. So that could be a great option. I think this is the perfect fund to invest in long-term because it has such low costs and it will guarantee that you'll get the return that the whole stock market gets. However, it still may not be for everyone, so here are some people that I think that it would be for. First, for those of you that have a very long time to invest, so those of you that are young and have a lot of time on your hands, this fund is a great option for you because there's no telling over 30, 40 years what is gonna happen to all, all the other actively managed funds. So this is a great option just so that you'll be able to guarantee that you'll get the return of the stock market. Second, you need to have serious self-control. You need to be able to invest into this consistently every month and then just not touch it. So the key to getting your solid returns over time will just be investing into it, and then even just forgetting to keep checking the price and seeing what it's at, you just need to forget that it's in there and not touch it, and that way, when you retire, you'll have a lot more money. And thirdly, you need to be okay with the index fund odds. And those are basically that about 85% of the time, the S&P 500 index fund will beat 85% of actually managed funds. And so if you're trying to chase that 15%, then this wouldn't be a good investment for you. And so you definitely need to be okay with just having a good 85% guarantee that you'll get returns better than everyone else. In my opinion, this is by far the best investment you can make because it guarantees that you get the stock market return. And on top of that, it has low costs. There's no need for a financial advisor. There's no need to be doing research on the best single stocks out there. And there's also no need to figure out when to time the market to buy and sell. And so this, you just sit back and let it do all the work for you. If you invest through your whole life in this index fund, you'll pay hardly any costs and you'll be able to grow small amounts of money into really big amounts of money over time with doing hardly any work. For example, if you're 23 years old right now and you max out your Roth IRA from now until you're 60, then you'd have anywhere between one to $4 million, depending on what the rate of return is. And that's with hardly doing any work. If you're torn between figuring out which investment advice to go with, the best advice that I could give you would be to read John Bogle's book, uh, Common Sense Investing, as this will give you a lot of data and statistics, and it will really help you have clarity in thinking about which investments to follow. And in my opinion, it will really persuade you to go with index funds because of all the data that it provides. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and learned something from it. And by far the most important thing that you need to remember is that you're just investing consistently each month. It does matter what you're investing into, but by far the most important thing is that just that you can consistently invest each month. So please like this video and subscribe to our channel where we post two videos every week. Also leave any comments you have down below for questions that you have and we'll get back to you. See you next time.